Hey, what's up, guys? Second Kirby Happy here, back again with another Kirby's Mod in Minecraft Solo World Tour. Oh, yeah. So, today was supposed to be Second Kirby Plays Minecraft, and before you say anything, yes, I know I am just putting off the series. But seriously, there's nothing to do in vanilla Minecraft anymore. I'm, I'm turning into Dire Wolf. Jeez. Anyway, figured I might want to do an updated um, spotlight on. Um, Figured I might want to do an updated tour on my on my modded world because I noticed that I noticed that the one I uploaded before was incredibly out of date. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean seriously, I was using like an, I was using like an old version of my mod back. I didn't have a didn't have a I had a beta version of Thermal Expansion. I didn't have a, I didn't have a completed like I didn't have a completed base. Well, I mean it's still uh, I'm thinking it's still not complete, but it's more up to date. So. I mean, I can. I mean, as my will show you it. Hello, Wolfie. I really, really should give you a name. You're, you're just so cute. I'm a sucker for dogs, by the way. Anyway, I've added, I've added a few machines here. Um, well, this isn't exactly an addition, just more of a modification. This is a, this is now an enriching factory. Instead of a instead of an enrichment chamber, because I noticed I noticed I've been using the enrichment chamber a lot with some with some patterns that I have. See, uh, see, I have five patterns for that uh, for that chamber, but uh, I have five patterns for this. But um, I also have my automatic ore processing going on. Oh God, I need to get some sulfur in there now. Quick, oxidize. <laughs> okay, so. So I haven't updated to Mechanism version 8 mainly because Ender.io's so gas conduits and 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 uh, let's see, IO's gas conduits and Mechanism version 8 the gases do not behave with each other. Anyway, so I uh, since since the last spotlight I've um uh, I've gotten these uh, I've gotten these. And con uh, these item conduits going down to the semi interface, which is taking all the items out of here, fulfilling the uh, fill fulfilling the crafting requests. I even ha I even have um, automation for uh, I even have automation for um, snowballs up up and running right here. See, I have this level emitter that says if I don't have um, if I don't have four stacks of snowballs in the uh, ME system, then uh, then turn uh, turn on the redstone signal, which activates the glacial precipitator. Making snowballs. And I think it works pretty well. Oh, and also one of the one of the most recent additions to my mod pack, the Portal Gun 1710 beta. Which means I have I have portal spawners and I also have a portal gun in my inventory. But yeah, I I use the portal spawners to get uh, to get into the back easily now. Which is which is definitely helping. So um this thing it uh, uh, this thing doesn't uh, doesn't always like activate when uh, when I boot up the world, so I had to. Uh, that's why I had to add this timer underneath uh, underneath it, so that way uh, that way I can get some. Uh, that way I can that way I can like activate this. See, I have the timer going every minute, and um, once it pulses, it uh, it turns the portal on. It won't uh, it won't lose power when uh, it won't lose power when the redstone signal is cut. So um, so it'll stay open. That's that's mainly so that way that way um, I can I can get back there if I need to. Okay, so um, also in my also um, in addition from my latest spotlight, I've um, put an MEIO port here. Did I have filing cabinets in the last one? I can't remember if I had filing cabinets here. Uh, well, I did have filing cabinets here, but um, obviously uh, obviously I've ditched them. So, um, so I did have filing cabinets. Um, um, one of them was holding mana beans. I just, uh, I just threw them, I just threw them into my alchemical furnace I have over there. I'll tell you later. Okay. Then I, then I also have this, uh, I also have this reservoir from Ender.io and uh, an ME fluid storage bus right here from Extra Cells. This, uh, this allows me to use the, this allows me to use the water in the reservoir for crafting, which is what this fluid assembler is here for. Uh, I need, uh, I need that dough pattern because. Once again, I'll get to that later. Okay, so is that it? Is that everything? 
Mm, that might be everything I wanted to show you here. Oh wait, no, 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 it's not, it's not. Go back. Okay, so um, I also added this um, integration table right here to, uh, for uh, for more crafting with Buildcraft. Um, couldn't I see the recipes for this? I mean, I should be able to. Um, let's see, uh, Arctic. Yeah, I should be able to add our Arctic Pulsar to this somehow. Yeah, I don't know how to add on Arctic Pulsar. Buildcraft version 6 is a mystery to me. Okay, so um, since the, since the last well, uh, since the last uh, world tour, I've um, I've added this carpenter's door here, which uh, which actually just looks exactly like stone unless you unless you hover it, hover over it and uh, look at the Wayla tooltip. So uh, so I can get back here and um, I replace the iron chest with a regular chest, mainly because the mainly because the new computer graph program I'm running requires it. It also requires this note block. Um, so yeah, funny story. Um, Computer Graft version 165 and Miscraft version um, 0 0.11 are the, uh, are the ones required for that computer program that I featured in my first solo uh, World Spotlight and the Ender Dragon battle. So um, I had to I had to switch my I had to switch my Computer Graft program because I did I don't know how to convert that program from uh, from 165 to 173 or to any new versions of Miscraft. So this this program works almost exactly the same as uh, as the old one, except when I except when I right click a destination, uh, a an experience orb sound is uh, an experience collecting a collected sound is played, and then some weird sound is played. You know what? Let me let me just demonstrate it. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's weird. Um. After a while, the book the book will come out, but um, I I think the I think the program is designed so that way uh, that way and you can see like where you're going, and then if you want to switch it, you can just right click it. I'm not really sure. I wish you could just I wish there was like an automatic eject after after like five seconds, because that's what the old program did. So then I also added this new level here with another uh, with another processing chamber. For sulfuric acid, and well, uh, another ore processing chamber down here. This is uh, this is for manual. Uh, this is for manual um, ore processing if I like really need to. Yeah, because I mean, I, I mean, it, my my ore processing system, a system up there processes so many ores. I mean, I, it hasn't even gotten to the iron, and once it does, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, well. I also added this um, little experience farm here with experience berry uh, essence berry bushes, which is amazing. So the uh, so the way this works, I have um I have nine essence berry bushes in there with nine autonomous activators continuously like right clicking them. Uh, as of this version of um, my Kirby's Mod of Minecraft um, mod pack, the uh, the autonomous activators require power, specifically redstone flux. So once the uh, so once the essence berries are plucked off of the essence, uh, essence berry bushes, they go into the vacuum hopper. They get uh, they get um, dropped into this autonomous activator, which eat which quote unquote eats the essence berry bushes, and then the and then the experience flows back into the vacuum hopper, gets drawn out through the uh, through those uh, through that pressurized fluid conduit, and gets drawn into the experience obelisk. I have 66 levels. Um, I was uh, I was doing some uh, I was doing some focal manipulation. See, let me show you. My one focus of shock has potency two and chain lightning, and my equal trade one focus has enlarge two and architect. Yeah, I was doing I was doing a lot of focal manipulation. So, also one of my most recent additions to the mod pack was pneumatic craft. So, so if you enter, you get my pneumatic craft room. I have a I have a little crafting terminal in here. I have this pneumatic door, which uh, right now is set to nearby and looking. So if I'm not looking at the door, it will not open. But if I'm looking at it, it will open. It will also only open if I'm nearby. I also have some speed upgrades in here. So, yeah. 
Okay, so um, I have the I have this assemb uh, I have this assembly um, I have this assembly plot uh, assembly like what what do we call this? it's assembly something I I, uh, I mean it's the, you would want to just call it an, an assembly I O uh, let's just call it an assembly unit. So I've gotten I've gotten all three of these programs, but um, I'm assuming these I'm assuming these programs are temporary because. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming the programs are temporary. So, so I have the, I have this pressure chamber here, um, which has an item life upgrade in it. This is this is the uh, this is one of the most useful upgrades that I can think of um, that come that comes with um, that comes with um, pneumatic graft. Okay, so the so the way this works, I have this chest here drawn. Um, I have this chest here with a uh, with item conduit behind it, drawing out anything that's placed in it. There's a there is a there's a pressure chamber interface on the other side there that um, that, that will um, draw, uh, dump the item into the pressure chamber. It'll get uh, it'll get um, it'll get pressured or whatever whatever it is. Where is that bat? Okay, so then seriously, bat. Don't interrupt me. Okay, so then uh, so then the pressure chamber interface right here takes any items out, but I need... Ugh, stupid bat, shut up. Oh, this is uh, broken. No, it's not. Okay, so I can, so I can do, uh, so I can do any, uh, I can do any item filter. Uh, I, ba I basically just do it for whatever I need, so, um, so once it, once this takes, uh, once this takes the items out, this item translocator, with a with glowstone on it, um, so that way it can send stacks. Um, it sends the items into this iron chest. So I do have I do have all three of the I do have have all three of the programs. Um, really, the only use for the uh, drill and laser program is um, is is to com is to convert one block of pre compressed iron directly to advanced pressure tubes. Okay. Um. So that's uh, that's this part of the, uh, th that's this part of the uh, world tour. Well, let's just um, you know, I really should show you my demon invasion world. Uh, that uh, funny story. Uh, so actually, the demon invasion world, the demon invasion linking book is to a miscraft age that I created. So that uh, so that way I can that way I can run my demon invasion. Without, uh, without like doing it in the overworld, it it'll be it's done in a miscraft age that is similar to the overworld. Okay, so um, also changed from uh, from my last um from my last spotlight. Um, I now have resonant energy cells like all over to store red sunflex because they are now the most uh, they're now the most powerful um red sunflex um, storing units in the in the in my mod pack. Okay, so uh, I have, do still have the laser drill here, but um, with um, but it's, it's utilizing thermal dynamics instead of uh, instead of Ender IO, because the because red because resonant flux ducts are awesome. Okay, so if you go over to my magic building, I've gotten rid of the thermal lilies because um, apparently one of the updates to Batania kind of nerfed the thermal lilies. I still I still have them, but uh, I don't use them. I also got this eerie mask, which is um, this this is this is the Majora's mask. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Yeah, it's like yeah, this seriously is a creepy mask. I mean, it's like it's like I'm Skull Kid. Jeez. By the way, I can wear that and my uh, and my crimson pendant. I just I can combine them, but I prefer not to wear the mask. Anyway, I I do have um, I do have quite a bit of stuff. I mean, I I battled the Gaia Guardian 2.0, and I got the, I got the dice of fate, which and when I rolled it, I got the fruit of Brusea, which allows uh, which, which is infinite food. By the way, it is it is one of the best items I've ever seen. Thank you, Vasky, for making my life so much better okay so um so the way this setup works the entropinium will absorb any explosions that happen nearby the kakamuris will eat cake 
I'll get to that part now. I have I have auto crafting for carrot cake in my in my AE system. So uh, so I can I can craft a carrot cake, place it down here. The cucumbers will eat it and then uh, and then produce mana. The cormorillus will eat any food. Uh, I'm just gonna be using. Uh, I can use my delighted meals that I had on me to uh, to feed the cormorillus. And I have also I've also gotten Steve's factory manager. Uh, I've gotten the Steve's factory manager automation for the pure daisy up and running. Thank you, Direwolf24, uh, explaining how it works in your Let's Play series. And also briefly on Forgecraft 1. So, uh, so basically how this works, um, it triggers every one second. It, um, the camouflage is, uh, the camouflage is um, completely invisible, and, uh, and there's no collision, which is amazing. So, and, uh, so these two variables here... Uh, this variable, the white variable, um, it's uh, selecting all the block gates. But um, but as you can see, there are no block gates. What? Let's uh, let's get rid of the let's get rid of the update bounds. Advanced advanced cable cluster. Boom. Yet this still has no collision, which is weird. Anyway. Advanced cable cluster, and these are uh, this is a cluster of block gates and transforming cable camouflage, which allows me to which allows me to make this uh, completely invisible. So anyway, I have a for each loop um, taking uh, and taking the uh, wait mm. oh yeah. Uh, I, have an I have an input from the orange variable, which is a, which is like any block gate that is uh, that is working with, outputting into the chest. And if the con if the condition, if this condition, like if uh, if any of those block gates have stone, cobblestone, or oak wood, and it's uh, well, if that condition if that condition is false, then I take then I take stone and oak wood from the chest and place it and place it on the orange variable. Only one at a time, though, so that way, that way, um, it doesn't, that way, it doesn't error. Okay, so down here, my Thawncraft room has evolved. What do you think about this? So, I got a, I got an alchemy golem. What's up, golem? Hey, hey, golem. Hey, hey, golem. Look at me. Look at me. Ugh. Don't make me bell you. I'm not afraid to bell you. Ugh. Anyway, click on him. It, uh, it has an animation core for alchemy, and it's uh, it's um, uh, it knows to um, yeah, it knows to take any aspects from. Uh, won't take any essentia from the alchemical furnace into any of these jars. The trick here is to um, right-click them directly onto the alchemical furnace, then mark one of the jars in your setup. You don't have to mark all of them, otherwise, otherwise, when you put put up the Golemancer's Bell, it would just uh, it just be crazy. Okay, so I also got this energized node up and running, but um, I kind of I kind of goofed up a bit. I mean, I really need more Aqua Perdido and Terra. Those aspects take the longest to recharge out of any of them. It's just so slow. I mean, I mean, I really need a new energized. Uh, I really need a new energized node, but I'm not really sure what happens if you if you uh, if you get rid of the node transducer. Probably something bad. And I also I also updated the. Uh, Oh, I need warp board. Stop it traveling, and get in. Okay. So as you can see, I've uh, I've added a travel anchor to my arcane spa. Okay. So I um, really need to check on the really need to check on the bath salts. Ugh, Ten left. Jeez, I need I need to make more of those. Anyway. So like I said, I was up to, uh, like I was saying. I updated the uh, I updated the clothes that I'm using for um, V discount, so that way I can get a larger one. I still have the Sanguine helmets. I got a Void Thaumaturge robe, Void Thaumaturge leggings, and Acrocloth boots. 
You have no idea how I how how difficult it is to craft aqua cloth boots. So I also uh, so I also have a uh, I also have an um I also have a uh, crist uh, essential crystallization uh, process going on right here. I still have some oram in here, but uh, I mean I can I can use those some other time. Though I could I could have just left it as ethereal essence. Oh well. Okay, so basically and basically really the only thing oh yeah and then i then i have these v relays going on going on all over the place the uh, the v relay here is for the focal manipulator it requires some requires some v to uh, manipulate the folk on uh, the foci i also got uh, i also got new uh i got new tools well new wands i should say i got this void aspected silverwood scepter which is 70 percent the v cost Though void uh, void metal is kind of dangerous to make, um, yeah. So um, to make void metal ingots, you need to make uh, you need uh, it's, uh, it requires eight metallum and void seed. Void seeds require eight tenebrae, eight dacuos, and two alienus plus one set of seeds to get uh, to get one void seed, and then uh, and void metal ingots. I mean, I, would, I mean, I wouldn't say they're dangerous to make. Just, um, just anything, you, anything you make out of them gives you warping. Okay, so, uh, so going down to my blood magic room, you can probably see that I did some remodeling. I added, I added a bunch of marble stuff because the marble looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Chisel, for giving me all of this good stuff. Okay, so. Really, nothing else has changed uh, around here, except I do have, except I do have a, um, I do have a setup for, oh wait, did I show you the last part of my potatoes? No, I didn't. This elevator down takes me to a mana battery. So I, I should really, I should really take my um, alchemy and conjuration catalysts, put them under mana pools up here, so that way, um, it's the way I always have mana whenever I need to do alchemy or um, uh, alchemy or conjuration. Anyway, if we go through if we go through this wall here, on off switch um, on off switch down in my blood magic area now turns uh, now turns this on and off instead of a instead of the uh, villager power spawner. So um and so basically I'm um, basically what happens here the uh, Monsters, uh, monsters spawn, and then I had the wall of suffering running underneath my uh, underneath my blood altars. So that way, that way, when these enemies get damaged, I get uh, I get life essence. It's uh, it's a bit overpowered, yes, but uh, but that's the name that's the name of the game when it comes to blood magic, overpoweredness. Uh, I think Way of Time is trying to tell us that overpowered is good sometimes. Okay, you know this was a pain to make, or this was a pain to get on here earlier. Oh wait, I really need to be careful. If I, uh, if any sunlight gets down here, the cursed earth is gonna burn. Oh wait, I can just, I can just teleport out. Uh, I can just teleport out of here if my staff of traveling will work. There we go. Okay, so now I can get back down here and uh, fill the sun. Get back and on my five spots, you idiot. Okay, so yeah, so I have um, so like I was saying, I have the well of suffering going on down here, as you can tell from the uh, from the creepy animation and uh, and the completed structure. And I also have my oh, did I crap? There we go. So I also have my I also have my transcendent blood orb in this uh, in this blood altar, so that way, uh, that way any enemies damaged um, will automatically fill my soul network. I mean it's it's, it's pretty much a net gain because every uh, every point of damage uh, given to an enemy generates ten, but uh, but takes two. So, I mean, uh, yeah. So I think is that it's um, oh yeah. 
I also added these. I also added these animal farms um, with um, paving stone warning, uh, paving stones of warning, so that way they cannot escape. It's basically it's basically fence. It's basically fence, but for um, but for powerful thaumaturges. <laughs> you can't get out, cows. You will stay in here forever. That's so creepy. Also, I've been doing I've been doing a lot of rebreeding and uh, and a lot of remodeling here. Basically, um, so basically, any uh, any beeswax, uh, honey drops, or refractory wax that I get, they they will go in these barrels. So that way, they are not constantly filling up this iron chest. I mean, I think I think that's one of the best changes I that's one of the best changes I made. I mean, besides. Uh, Besides, like, uh, besides, like, uh, almost finalizing this part, <laughs> and uh, and also getting like a carrot cake, a carrot cake automation. I mean, seriously, uh, seriously. Thank you, extra cells, for this. I uh, that is one of my favorite AE add-ons. Actually, come to think of it, that's the only AE add-on I have. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, updated uh, feed to be solo. Um, why do I keep saying Feed the Beast? I hope you guys enjoyed this Kirby's Modern Minecraft Solo World update. So I'll put I'll put a link to the uh, computer pro, uh, computer craft. Um, I can't talk. I'll put a link to the computer pro, uh, com, I'll put a link to the computer craft miscraft updated program into the description. It's uh, it's on GitHub, but um, you should be able to download it easily. There's a there's even instructions on how to install it on GitHub. So. I, I don't think it'll be that hard. All right, so thanks for watching this. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Five Nights at Freddy's Two Night Five. Later. Oh crap. Later. Just kidding. I forgot to tell you something. If you may have noticed, the uh, the wall of molecular assemblers is missing. That's because it's all behind the scenes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so basically what I've done here is I've used an entire side of the ME controller for this crazy setup. I have I have like I don't even know how many I don't even know how many molecular assemblers I have. Frankly, I don't even want to take frankly, I don't even want to check because all these molecular assemblers are pretty much poised all correctly. Hmm. Like positioned all correctly, so that way, so that way, all the channels are distributed evenly, and everything works. So basically, I have basically I have a bunch of molecular assemblers and ME interfaces in here, and a chunk loader and a magnum torch. Uh, Thirty-two ME interfaces to be precise. The uh, actually the molecular assemblers don't even don't even take a channel, so you can have uh, you can have as many molecular assemblers as you want, but only a certain number of ME interfaces. Okay, so, if you're wondering how I'm doing my crafting, that's how. Everything's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Okay, that's really it. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Later.